lovely Aquarians. This is Debs and this is your reading for April 2024. Aquarius, I had mixed emotions when I delved into meditation because, first of all, I saw a guy very happily driving down this road in a gorgeous, glossy black 4x4. He had on a smart work suit. He was listening to the radio. He was looking out the window thinking, life is good. I then was shown a clock by Archangel Michael and I saw this guy drive into a car showroom and he was talking animatedly to the car showroom manager. He handed over the keys and he then walked over to a moped and he stood looking at it thinking, ah, oh, well, it's come to this, but um, it's still going to get me from A to B. I'm determined to make this work. And that's it. So Aquarius, I don't know whether or not you've got to the point where you have to let a certain phase of life go. It could have been a phase of life where you've been enjoying a bit of the fine life. You've been enjoying the fruits of your labor. But maybe Aquarius, you're realizing that any form of overindulgence in whatever form that takes Whatever that means for you simply has to be put in the past. Whatever the situation is, you're carrying those wonderful memories from the past. You are shifting into a phase of your life where you're going to have to be a lot more careful. But you're still determined to make this work. And what I heard at the end of the meditation was, I'd rather this than give up altogether. So Aqua, whatever this is for you, let's dive in. The deck that I'm using is the Sanctus Concordia. Everything you need is down below, guys. The link to my website if you'd like a reading. And I'm still offering 30% off 30-minute love readings if you're interested. The link to join the channel is there and all the decks. Yeah, I'm seeing this guy pulling on a moped helmet. <laughs> and he's sort of laughing to himself. God, I never thought it was going to come to this. But I'm almost getting a sense of I've accepted it. It's fine. And I keep hearing, I'd rather this than the alternative. Okay. So, Aqua. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aquarians. Sun, moon, rising and Venus. What do we have for my lovely Aquarians, please, Michael? Thank you. April 2024. Interesting. Star cards jump straight out. Aquarian energy. Mm. You're not exactly accepting defeat, Aquarius, but you're getting real with yourself. And you're determined to still, I'm hearing, stick a smile on your face. You're determined to not let it bring you down. Wow, Aquarius, I'm feeling very emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Aquarius. Oh, guys. <laughs> Don't you worry. You'll be okay. Yeah. So we got your card of the star. <laughs> Aquarius, you may have worked very, very hard. Okay. You may have gone from feeling as if you'd made it, right? I'm going to be fine for the rest of my life. Money's coming in. Life is great. To, oh my Lord, um, why am I now sitting, clutching hold of four pentacles? This is a bit scary. What happened? Well, Aquarius, life happened. The economy took a dive. Maybe there are a lot of competitors doing what you do. It's just life. So here we have you. <laughs> Sort of looking at the past, thinking, well, that was a bit unexpected, but I am determined to keep going. Determined, Aquarius. All right. Eight of Swords. In your head, how did I find myself in this situation? Hmm. Well, I guess I've just got to make the best of it, is what I'm getting. Three of Cups. Aquarius, what you're thinking about is you had a great time. You celebrated. 
you did achieve a great deal, but now things are changing. You're thinking about this. Times are changing. In the past, tower, yeah. Aquarius, something happened which sort of rocked your world. It may have been totally unexpected. It could have been job loss. It could be even that a relationship went under. Whatever this was, it did rock the foundation that you built for yourself. It might have related to a property. It might be that you had to sell a property and you never thought you would. It might be that you had to clear some debt. It was difficult. If you actually went through divorce, Aquarius, you may have had to have let go of a property. It might needed to have been sold as part of the divorce settlement. Whatever situation you're in, you now find yourself in a very different place in your life. But I keep hearing, it's okay. It's all right. It's not great, but I'm going to deal with it. And I'm going to make it work. In your thoughts, Aquarius, Seven of Cups. You're now looking at various options. Now, this could be you looking at finding somewhere new to live. This could be you thinking, how am I going to rebuild my finances? You're looking at options. You are realising there are options out there. You're never going to go back to those wonderful heady days of driving in your glossy 4x4. You're still going to have to stick with your moped, but you're going to be OK. <laughs> you're going to be OK. You're almost Aquarius in survival mode. That's what I'm getting. In the immediate future, six of wands. Aquarius, you're faking it until you make it. Well, yeah, I had to let the 4 by 4 go because it was a little bit too much for me. I didn't need such a big car. It's just me. Or you could be saying to people, you know what? It's easier to get from A to B with a moped. You're going to be wearing a little bit of a false mask, but it's simply to preserve your dignity, Aquarius. And I'm hearing it's nobody else's business but your own. In the past, Aqua, Six of Cups. You're fearing being stuck in nostalgia. Oh, those are wonderful days. It's so disappointing. I'm never going to get those days back again. Could this have turned out differently if I did this, if I did that? No, Aquarius, I feel this is all part of the Divine's plan. I do. Difficult, though that is, to accept. In the environment, Aqua, Five of Cups... You're going to be talking to somebody, Aquarius, who is actually far worse off than you. And it may cause you to look at things a little bit differently. Wow. Um, well, I miss my 4 by 4 I'm having to deal with this little moped. But you know what? This person can't even afford a bicycle. So in relative terms, I'm still doing pretty well. That's the way you're going to look at it. That's what you're going to be thinking. In your hopes, Aquarius... Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, you may be hoping to bring in a little bit more money. You may be thinking outside the box pertaining to your income, your revenue. You may be hoping, Aquarius, that you can still make ends meet. I'm pretty sure you will. You're going to be OK. But you are going to need to keep your feet on the ground and stay realistic from this point onwards. The outcome, Aqua. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. So for many of you, you can't rest on your laurels. You're going to have to get your head down. You're going to be working extremely hard, but you're going to stay afloat. I feel that's what we're looking at, Aquarius. This is you accepting your situation now, as opposed to staying in fantasy land. And this is you working with the energy, not against it. OK, just going to give the reins to the divine, do whatever I can to keep positive and keep my fingers crossed. Everything's going to simmer down and balance out. I'm pretty sure it will. Clarification for you, Aquarius, the moon. You are sat in a little bit of fear. Oh, my goodness. Right. I hope I don't have to sell the moped and get a bicycle. 
chariot. <laughs> Interesting. The chariot can be a vehicle, but I feel this is all symbolism, Aquarius. You are moving into a very different phase of your life. You're going to have to pull your horns in. You're going to have to staple down the checkbook. You're going to have to put your credit card away and you may have to live life a little bit differently. But you're going to be all right. You're going to stay afloat because you've accepted graciously that these things happen, right? This person's energy, Aquarius. Yeah, two of pentacles. So Aqua, here is you clutching hold of four pentacles. This is someone who's had a lot more to cope with, a lot more to deal with. Yeah, they really are sat in the nine of swords thinking, how am I going to survive? So my beautiful Aquarian, let's shift the camera over a fraction. Okay, guys. All right, let's begin. Archangel Michael, why is Aquarius sat in the Eight of Swords and the Three of Cups? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Aquarius, you're turning your back on a phase of life. It might be that at some point you were sitting facing eight full cups and this is you having to walk away. You're a little bit in your head, you're a bit nostalgic. Looking at the past, Seven of Pentacles. Times have changed. Yeah. Once, thinks Aquarius, I was sat in the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, and then this happened, right? Yeah. What I'm hearing is those days have just gone now. Those days have gone. Yes, you closed out a cycle. You've learned a lot of lessons. You had some wonderful memories. But you have to move on and accept the circumstances as they are now. So, Echo, in the past with the tower, something rather shocking happened. Mm. Which caused you to sit in drama a little bit of chaos, trying to get your head around a situation. I'm hearing again, how did that happen? How did that happen? Yes, you went straight into hermit mode. You pulled back and you sat for a while thinking about your future. You could have been contemplating your finances. You may have realised that future plans had to change. Everything shifted in another direction. And you may not have liked it, Aquarius. It might have been something that threw you for a few days. You had to sort of gather yourself together again. It was a challenge. The Page of Pentacles. You could have been thinking about a contract. It could be that this is you thinking about a child. How am I going to survive and make sure my child's okay? But the Page of Pentacles is also you maybe talking to a friend. I don't know what I'm going to do from this point onwards because this, this and this happened. After that point of time, Aqua, you thought very seriously about your foundation. You could be thinking about a property or you could be thinking about a business with a four of wands. Whatever this was, Aquarius, you realised you may have to let go of some form of stability. It could have been a property. It could have been a business. Whatever this was, I feel as if everything changed. And it may have happened quite dramatically. Yes. With the Ten of Wands, Aquarius, what you realised was that whatever you'd hoped for was not going to happen. You may have been hoping to pay off your mortgage. You may have been hoping to move to a bigger property. You may have been hoping to keep a business running. Whatever this was, you realised you realised you were sort of on a slippery slope. And that sense of feeling out of control scared you because you never thought it would come to that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Aquarius, you may have ended up having a few frantic conversations with someone. You could have needed to have gone to see your bank manager. You were almost in panic mode. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do now? What you later realised was there was nothing you could do to prevent this. It was sort of out of your hands and you had to face the facts that you would never go back to the place you were in before, which might have been financially very stable. I feel Aquarius, you realised it was just time to simply accept the truth. Yes, Ace of Swords. It was time to accept the truth. You had to move yourself onto a new path. It was unexpected. It made you feel uncomfortable. There may have been a sense of fear about what the future held, but it's almost as if you had no choice. So you either accepted it or gave up on moving into a new cycle altogether. So Aqua, what you're thinking about now is a Seven of Cups. You're looking at options. You may be looking at options for work, options to move in a new career direction, options to bring in more money. You are realising options are out there. You may have to tailor something, amend something. You may have to look at bringing in another stream of income. But you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I feel you're a bit nervous, Aquarius, because you're not used to having to downsize or downgrade to this extent, because that's what this is but you're determined to make it work. Three of Pentacles. For some of you, you may be thinking of options of bringing in another stream of income. King of Swords, you could be speaking to someone who might be able to give you some pointers. You could be doing some research to find out what is out there, what is available to you, what is possible now. So Aqua, in the immediate future, <laughs> bless you, you're there on your moped thinking, well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but at least it's going to get me from A to B. You're managing, but you are in survival mode and you are wearing a false mask. You may not want other people to know that you're stressed, that you're struggling. Everything is serene on the outside, but underneath you're stressing. Now, there is going to be a conversation coming up with someone sat in the Five of Cups. Now, Aqua, it may well be that this is someone who needs your advice. This is someone who's in a much worse situation than you are. It's going to be interesting to converse with whoever this is. Because what it's actually going to do is going to cause you to take a big step back and look at your situation differently. Well, yes, I was sitting in the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles doing well in my career. Everything was great. And now I'm clutching hold of four pentacles. But at least I'm not in a situation where I'm having to juggle two. You know, it's all relative. In a strange way, it may actually lift your spirits. At the same time. You may be helping this person get themselves into a much more positive frame of mind because that is what you had to do maybe a few months ago or maybe a few weeks ago. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Six of Wands and the Five of Cups for my Aquarians? Thank you, Michael. 21st of May to the end of June. The end of June. Okay. So Aquarius, you're going to have a conversation with whoever this is. Let's have a look at their energy. Yeah. Aquarius, this was someone who was seriously overindulgent. They may have spent way beyond their means. They may have bought a few very expensive things they didn't need. And I feel now... They're facing the consequences. Yeah, four of swords. They're thinking back at a time when maybe they were frivolous with their money. 
they may now be in serious debt. The devil. You could be communicating with a Capricorn. Whoever this person is refused to take off the rose-tinted glasses, refused to change their lifestyle, and so they have really gone under. This is someone now who simply doesn't know what to do. They're sitting in fear, they're juggling two pentacles. Two swords. I feel as if this person is almost sitting in a place of disbelief. They're refusing to accept their situation. It's as if they can't bear to think about it. So Aquarius, you faced reality and you're making changes, but this is someone who simply can't believe that they find themselves in this type of situation. This is someone, Aquarius, who may have known that their job was on the line, but they may still have gone out or they spent a lot of money or they refused to look for new jobs because they were convinced that they wouldn't have been made redundant. This is someone now who was looking back thinking, I should have taken charge of my situation back then and they didn't. I don't feel with the Two of Swords they're going to tell you, I'm hearing the messy details of what they're coping with now. And I don't think Aquarius, in the nicest sense, you're willing to divulge the fact that you yourself are clutching hold of four pentacles. But what it is going to do, it's going to make you realise your strength. Your determination to push on, even though you're afraid of the future, even though you don't know how things are going to pan out, you're absolutely determined to keep going. This is you working really hard working overtime, trying to pull in another stream of income, selling things you don't need, getting rid of the four by four and maybe accepting that from now on it's going to be you and a moped, right? This is someone still sat on the sofa in a place of shock, feeling a bit numb, thinking, oh, well, I'm sure a job is going to turn up eventually. They're not doing anything proactive, you are proactive. That is the difference. So even though Aquarius, you're going to feel very sorry for this person, what you're realising is your determination to make the best out of a bad lot is your key to survival. You're going to make it. You're going to be OK. Whereas this person may have to reach rock bottom before they realise that they have to take control of their life. They've got to put the work in. Let's have a look at your energy, Aqua. Yeah, Page of Cups. I think very simply, Aquarius, you're going to say to this person, I'm so sorry you went through that. I'm so sorry you had to deal with that. I'm so sorry you lost your job. I'm, I'm so sorry that you find yourself in a situation. What else are you going to be saying to this person? The hangman. You're going to try and bring a little bit of positivity into the conversation. Yes, but if you look at things from a different perspective, says Aquarius, maybe you didn't enjoy your job. Maybe the next job you have is going to be a lot more fulfilling. Yes, you were earning a really good salary in that job, but there's always a way around it. You can live more simply. You could move. OK, you found yourself in this difficult situation, but you can do things to help yourself. All this person is doing, Aqua, is sitting there feeling sorry for themselves. What else are you saying? Yeah, you're so positive, Aqua. What you're saying to this person is maybe... If you look at things in a different way, you weren't supposed to work in that company. You weren't supposed to be in that career. You weren't supposed to be living in that beautiful three bed house, right? Use it to make much needed changes. Embrace this new cycle rather than sitting feeling sad about the old cycle you had to let go of. You're hoping, Aquarius, that your positive attitude is going to rub off on this person. But to be honest, they're still sat 
in denial. They're still refusing to believe this happened. Whereas Aqua, in the nicest sense, even though you've gone through it, you're three steps ahead. And you're to be commended. What is the energy between you guys? What is the energy? Yeah, you're going to have a conversation. The difference is, Aquarius, this person is angry that they find themselves in the situation they're in. You're actually taking this opportunity to delve into the new. What can I do to help my situation? You're looking at ways to lift yourself up out of this. This person is simply wanting somebody to blame. That is a difference. So Aquarius, we end with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to have to work your socks off. You may be finding new ways of bringing in a little bit more money, but you're going to be okay because you're sitting in a lot of positivity and an extremely strong work ethic, which is crucial as it's going to help you push on. Yeah. Strength. You will need a lot of courage to embrace this change. You're going to be watching your spending. You're going to hold back from being overindulgent. But you are absolutely determined to make this work. You're determined, Aquarius. You're not giving up. No, no, no. Yeah. You're facing this new cycle with your head held high. And you're putting one foot in front of the other. You're taking every day as it comes. You're trying not to think five years into the future. You're trying not to sit in fear. You are simply getting on with it. Let's see what I can achieve today, right? Yeah, let's add it. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, Aqua, you may be changing where you live. You may need to sell a property. You may be moving somewhere much, much smaller, but you're in survival mode. You're not going to let this bring you down to the point where you give up. No way. If anything, it's making you stronger. Judgment. Aquarius, you are making the judgment call to make the best out of a difficult situation. Yes. And you're facing the truth head on. This is where I find myself now. So rather than looking back at the past, wondering what on earth happened, grieving what was, you're moving forward with a sense of adventure. Your attitude, Aquarius, will see you through this. You're simply manifesting a different life for yourself. Yes, the magician. You know you can pick yourself up, Aquarius. You know you're strong enough to do it. Yeah. And if you can temper any impulsive spending and temper your emotions so you don't sit in a place of stress, I feel the angels are surrounding you to support you at this time. You're going to be fine, Aquarius. Don't you worry. Yeah. You're going to get your life back in balance with the energy of the Justice card. Yeah. And with the Fool, Aquarius. Again, you're looking at this in a really optimistic way. Okay, well, you know what? If I have to downsize, that's fine. If I have to sell my car, it's okay. I didn't really need a car that size anyway. If I need to move, well, maybe a new environment will be exciting. You're making the most of it, Aquarius. And you're seeing this as simply another adventure. What am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this new cycle? I don't know, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do everything I can to pull myself up out of this difficult situation. And you're going to do it because of your attitude. You're an inspiration for many people, Aquarius. 
and you are looking at the bigger picture. Congratulations, guys. Ten of Cups. Aqua, you may have family you may have family members around you to help you at this time. It may be your family says to you, you know what, at the end of the day, if everything goes under, we're here to help you. You may be very proud, you may not want their help, but Aquarius, you do have people that love you around you because you're a humanitarian and you'll find in the future if you get a little bit worried you will have a lot of people gathering around you asking what they can do to help you yes do we have a final card michael yeah ace of wands aquarius you're no longer looking at the past you're no longer berating yourself or grieving the past you're pushing on you've got a spring in your step you're going to be sitting in a place of inspiration and with this powerful desire to succeed you're going to make it you're going to be absolutely fine and you may even find yourself appreciating this new life so aqua i'm going to finish this reading with a little message from Archangel Michael, I feel as if you need his guidance. I feel as if we should do that, okay? Archangel Michael, may we have a closing message from you, please? Thank you. <laughs> Aqua. New beginnings and a fresh start. Thank you for bringing new opportunities, for offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. This is you spreading your wings in a new direction, Aquarius. And the reason why you're going to be successful, Aquarius, is you did not give up. You stared adversity in the face and you said to yourself, I'm not going to let this break me. I'm not. Good for you. So Aqua, I'm leaving the reading there. I really hope it's helped you. As always, take care of you, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye Aqua.